What is up guys, it's me, I'm back. This is my simulated career with Aston Villa. As we see what they want us to do, round of 16, wide midfielder, and finish mid-table. That should be relatively easy. And so as I'm gone, I found some players, Yanezai, Morales, Giancarlo, and Daniel Sturridge. So as we go through, we're going to offer Yanezai $10 million. We're going to offer $10 million for Yanezai. And then we are going to offer sixteen point five for Morales. Then we're going to offer just a plain contract to Giancarlo because he is a free agent. So he should be easier to get than these players. So as we go down, we, we see, I wonder what his wage would be. Only 9K. Hopefully he's better than I think he is. Because he does have 87 pace or something. Like 87 or 89 maybe. But Daniel Sturridge, as we go offer, we will offer 19. I'm 99% sure this will be rejected. That's like offering pennies to Liverpool for him. As we sim a few days, I did inquire to see what they would want, and they want 62 for Daniel Sturridge. As we sim a few more days, and this has been rejected. Giancarlo did accept his contract, and the other two offers also were rejected. So Giancarlo is the first signing of this simulated career mode. If you do not know, this is the simulated career mode that I am doing on my channel. But as we go back, we are going to offer them 18.5. I think, yeah, let's do 18.5. Maybe they'll accept that. And... Man United has rejected for Yanezai, so I will go through and offer them thirteen million. My final offer for Yanezai will be fifteen because he is not worth over fifteen. But as I go through here to look at players to sell, um, I think I will sell in Zogbia. I really like the looks of Sanchez in this team. As you yeah, I pull him up right now. You see, in Colombia. He looks pretty good. And then I will also put Kozak and Weeman on the transfer list. They will not be used. They are both very slow, like 72 pace, compared to all the other players on the team. And I'm making sure that Okore is the starting center back besides Vlar. And as we do put Weeman on the transfer list, hopefully we will make some monies off of hims. But as we send a couple more days to get the answers of our transfer offers, as they do say we want 17.5, I say 15. So as we offer for Yanezai, I just really hope Yanezai can be able to sign with Aston Villa, or actually, I really hope, you know what, later on I might look up Raheem Sterling, see what they want for Raheem Sterling, Raheem Sterling. As we sim a few more days, Bayern and Manchester City in Aguero talks. As we get an offer for Ron Vlar. No, you can you you have to offer more than his value if you even want a chance. Um, I think yeah, I'm gonna search up Raheem Sterling. That would be a great signing for Aston Villa. Let's go with 18. Hopefully they accept that. 
And if they don't, if they bump it up to like 31, maybe I'll have soul players by then. I can offer them like 22, and they'll accept that upload. As we get an offer for Kozak, we need money quickly so we can sign Sterling. So you can just leave the club as we sim a few more days. And we get, it says 31, like I said. And then, uh, so we'll give them 22. And maybe they'll accept that. You never know. As we sim a few more days, we're just waiting for the answers on the Sterling offer. And they have accepted. And right here, I accidentally put in important first team player, and I meant to put crucial first team player. So he will reject that. So I'll probably have to do another Pasha offer with crucial first team player. As we get a transfer offer for Ninzogbia. Sure, man, you're unhappy. Why would you ever be unhappy at Aston Villa when I'm the manager? Come on, man. And as I was looking for this striker who was a free agent named Romarone or something, I think. He's an 80 overall and he was a free agent. So it might be this guy, but I do not know. He might have already signed for someone in this career mode. But he was an 80 overall free agent. As we look at the other one, and it is not him either. As we simulate a few days and we get an offer for Weeman, they tell me they've sold Nzogbia and he wants a bigger role. And then I will give him 5% bonus and crucial first team player. Come on, man. Accept that. As we tell West Ham you can have Weeman for 3.3. They'll probably come back and say, no, 3.2. Hey, they come back and say, no, 3.2, as I said they would. So, we gonna sell Weeman as we come into the first friendly against Getafe, maybe? Either Getafe or Granada. I didn't really see the logo, but we are making the putting the players that we want into the lineup. These players will not be playing in the friendlies. I do not want injuries, as I will switch to a 3-5-2. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I like this one. Um, As we have Sterling, so Delph, We'll switch with Westwood, I'm sorry. We'll come out for Sanchez. Giancarlo will come in for Sissoko. Hutton will come out for Sissoko. And Sissoko will switch to being left back. And Okore, since he can play the right side, I will put him on the right side. And then we... Switch Sterling and Giancarlo. Look at that pace, 89 and 90. But we switch Sterling and switch. Okay, switch Sterling and Giancarlo and Giancarlo and Delph. And there we go. This will be the squad during the season, but the friendlies, I will be playing the second team that I am about to make. Right, like right now. But as we go to the team sheets, I'm making the second team, which will be playing these friendlies, as I've said. And this is a simulated career because I already have two play playable career modes. I have the Shrewsbury Road to Glory and the Newcastle Manager. As Sinclair comes out for... Why did I look at Bakuna? For Richardson, as this is the second lineup. And I'm contemplating keeping Richardson in the lineup. But 
I remember now Sinclair has 90 pace or something. As I'm just switching every starter with a sub. And hopefully they'll win at least one for me, maybe. As we do put a 59 overall striker into the game. If he scores, I will be so surprised. So, I think the first friendly is against Getafe. I was right the first time. As we go into this game, and we are going to send to the end, and we win 3-2. to two. Weeman picks up an injury, so it looks like West Ham will probably not buy him now. Never mind, he just got sold. And he is injured, so it doesn't really matter because he's gone now. So now Benteke is in the second team for the friendlies. Hopefully he will not get injured. But are you really going to offer 5.5 .5 for almost an 80 rated center back? Are you joking? Even though his uh, his value is 8 million, why would you think you could get away with But as we go into the second friendly against Empoli, how will we do? And we lose 1-0. It was our second team. And then the third friendly is against the Beasts themselves, Ray Al Madrid. If we can only lose by one goal, I will be so proud of this team. Because this is our second team versus Real Madrid's first team. Wow, we only lost 2-1. to one. That's really good. But as I will go and switch the squad back to the regular squad. and. The first game in the next episode will be against Stoke City. Um, probably every episode there will be like a month, since it is a simulated. I will do like a month every episode, or maybe like a month, a little more than a month. It depends on how much I feel like doing. And yeah, so the first game is against Stoke City. See you next episode make sure to watch my shrewsbury road to glory i think i'm already on episode eight so if you haven't seen it yet go see it if you haven't seen the first episode of the newcastle career go see that leave a like down below Sus subscribe if you new if you're new if you've already subscribed thank you so much